I'd like to try to explain a popular probability puzzle that's confused many people over the years, even mathematicians. It has to do with goats in a car, and it's called the Monty Hall problem. Let me first lay out the question for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Monty Hall is a game show host, and he shows you three doors. Goats are sitting behind two of the doors, but the third one holds an expensive car. If you can guess the right door, you win the car. The twist comes after you've selected a door. Monty opens one of the two remaining doors, which he knows to contain a goat. He then offers you a choice. Do you want to stay with the door you originally chose, or switch to the other remaining closed door? Most people intuitively believe that it shouldn't make a difference if you switch or not. The chances should be 50-50 for both doors. In actuality, though, the remaining closed door has a two-thirds chance of containing the car, and so it would be to your advantage to switch every time. So why isn't it 50-50? The first step to understanding this is to see that there's more to your situation than the fact that there are two doors to choose from. To find the correct probabilities, you need to think in terms of possible worlds. In the beginning, there are three doors, each with equal probability of holding the car, one-third. You pick one of these doors. If you pick the right door, then Monty can reveal either of the other two doors, both of which contain goats, and switching will always cause you to lose. In the other two-thirds of the cases, when one of the doors you didn't pick has the car, Monty is constrained by your choice of door. He can't show you the door with the car, so he has to reveal the goat behind the other door. This means that in both of these cases, the remaining closed door will contain the car. The key here is that this last door doesn't have a fixed identity. Which door is left for you to switch to depends on which door is hiding the car. If either of the unchosen doors contains the car, then it's guaranteed that that door will be the one you're offered to switch to. And that's why switching to this door gives you a two-thirds chance of finding the car. If this still seems strange to you, you can imagine a slight temporal variation on the original problem. Say that instead of revealing a goat and then asking you if you'd like to switch, Monty presents you with this offer. Would you rather stay with your door, or check both of the other doors? If either of the other doors contains the car, you get to keep it. The only condition is that Monty will insist on opening a door he is sure contains a goat first, before he opens the second one. Since you know that at least one of these two other doors must contain a goat, you shouldn't really care which order Monty opens them for you in. The probability of your winning is still two-thirds compared to one-third, since you're opening two doors instead of one. Now notice that despite this advantage, you shouldn't be at all excited when Monty opens the first door, because you know that you have a 0% chance of winning on that first door. He's going to engineer it so that he shows you a goat first. What you're really going to be excited for is opening the second door, which then has the entire two-thirds chance of containing the car. The key thing to realize is that the original problem is actually exactly equivalent to this offer, except that in the original problem, Monty has already opened the first door for you ahead of time before you make your decision, but the remaining door still has that two-thirds chance of containing the car. In both situations, you end up getting to look into two doors, and you will get the prize if either of them contain it. This is always a better option than only choosing one door to look into, at an advantage of two-thirds to one-third, again because you're looking into two doors rather than one. Now some people may be able to follow this reasoning in theory, but still have a gut feeling that since there are two doors, the probabilities should be 50-50. Let's take this problem to an extreme to try to give you an intuition of why this is wrong. Imagine now that there are 99 doors. 98 of them contain goats, and one has a car. You pick one of the doors, and Monty goes down the line and opens 97 of the ones you didn't choose, all of which contain goats. Now you're left with a door you originally chose, which will only contain the car if you made a lucky guess in the first place, or this one remaining door that Monty has so conspicuously avoided. It should be a bit more obvious now that in 98 out of 99 cases, when you didn't happen to choose the winning door on your first try, this last door will then contain the car. This same exact principle applies to the three-door version, except with a less striking advantage to switching.